Welcome to day three of basketball. Today we're going to repeat the mic and drill we did on Monday, and then look at a whole series of post moves that we can use. All of us end up becoming post players at one time or another. Doesn't matter how tall or short you are. And these moves will help you out a lot as you need to finish around the basket, and also if you get offensive rebounds around the basket. Alright campers, next we're going to take a look at the mic and drill. It's a terrific way to get better at layups and also finishing when you're driving to the basket. We've got Tim with us today and he's going to show us how to do the mic and drill. So I'm going to step aside and Tim's going to start. You'll notice that he keeps the ball up. He's starting on the left side. The ball is going to always stay above his shoulders. And he's going to go off the right foot on the left hand side. And moment he's going to get a good rhythm going. He's going off the left foot on the right hand side, the right foot on the left hand side. Notice the ball is staying up. He's keeping his eyes on the target. He grabs that ball right away off the rim. Now you go whatever speed you need to go to do this correctly. You might not be able to go as fast as Tim does. Now let's look at a couple ways we don't want to do the mic and drill. So first, Tim is not going to turn his body. He's going to be facing the backboard every time. And he's just working on power layups there. That's not the mic and drill, okay? So that is not what we want. Another big mistake we often run into and you don't want to do is having the ball way too low. So he's taking that from way down there. You don't want to shoot it from way down there. You're never going to get a layup off like that in a game anyway. It's going to get stuffed. So we're going to, again, keep the ball up. So watch the difference as Tim does it correctly again. The ball is going to stay up, and he's going to get a good flow going just like that, back and forth. And don't worry if you miss. It's OK. Go at the speed you need to go, and as you get better, you can go faster. So now what I want you to do is try this yourself Go for 30 seconds, set a timer and go for 30 seconds, or maybe try to make 20 of these, or take 20 of them and see how many you can make doing the mic and drill. Next, we're gonna look at reverse mic in. This is really important when we're driving to the basket, we need to get to the other side, uh, and the rim can actually act as a helper to us because it can stop defenders from blocking our shots. So Tim's gonna show you reverse mic and notice he's facing out from the basket now, and He's going to use, there's his left hand on that, and then right hand. So when he's to what looks like the right side of our basket, he's using the left hand. And when he's like the left side of the basket, for us, that's his right hand. He's keeping the ball up. Notice his eyes are staying up, looking at the target, finding that square. And he's getting outside the rim, which is really important. We all have a feeling of working the post at some point or another. Everybody becomes a post player. You might think, Scott, I'm only five foot one. If you basket cut and receive a pass and don't get an immediate layup, you are a post player. If you get an offensive rebound, you are now a post player. If you drill into the lane and stop, you're now a post player. And of course, if you actually post up, you're a post player. We all need to use these moves. So today's first going to work on a drop step to the baseline. The problem is I want to close, but the defender is on this side of him, so he knows that you can beat him or her at where his hand is. He knows you can beat him or her by taking his bottom foot, which is his right foot, and he's going to step and pound the basket. Yep. So watch him do this. And he's going to go up, take it up with two hands. You want to shoot with the left hand, but that off and off hand provides control, stability of the ball, and a foul target. We want to get hit two free throws. You are unguardable with the free throw line. Okay, so it shows again, he's going to toss balls himself with the basket. Up. Also, notice that Tim is getting involved at first. And again, even if you're five foot one, you want to get involved and take up some space. Also, as far as Tim is, so many people think of that giant rectangle down there is where they want to post up. Tim's in a much better position up here. He's got more of the work. When he steps down here, he finds himself on the back of So you want to be where he is up here. Show him one more time, Tim. And again, you notice he's taking a step to the basket. Okay? Then there's right behind you. You might have a quick move over your opposite shoulder than making it. Show us that. Jumping defenders will fall for that. We're on the left hand side right now. We're going to pause the video right now so you can try some of these yourself. Try to get five or ten of these in. Now Tim's on the right hand side. That's actually Tim's off hand. He is left handed. Same idea, just everything is opposite now. He's going to take a big step, that left foot, pound, and he's going to go up with his right hand. Take that left hand up with you too, Tim. So we got something to get fouled. We want to go to the free throw line. You are unguardable at the free throw line. So 
So once again, we're going to pause the video so you can try five to ten of these yourself. Now, maybe the defender is on the bottom side of the tent. So instead of being where he was before, she goes before, the defender's on the bottom side. So now it's just going to go on hand step with this top foot. Now, look at where his foot is. I'm trying to stay six feet away. When he steps, it is parallel to the baseline. It's parallel to the free point. It's parallel to the back foot. Get that foot parallel to the baseline. It's going to make it so much easier for you to get around and take a shot of a little baby who knows what Tim is going to do. That is super important on this top roster. So here Tim goes again. He's going to take that top foot. Yep. He goes up. He goes up. He goes up. You can get that little baby who knows what That's okay. So you take a shot like that, we're going to go back to Tim's again. A big advantage of Tim getting that foot parallel to the baseline is he doesn't go away from the basket. If he just kind of takes a shot this way, he may end up throwing away the basket and he was expecting. So if he just steps up, now that's not what he was looking for. He probably wouldn't want to shoot a baby over the man. So one more confidence shows us the defenders below him. And there we go. We'll pause the video now so you can try it for yourself five or ten times. Now you right-handers may notice you really like that on that left-hand side because it was a right-hand shot. Tim likes this shot on this side because again, he is left-handed. So even though we're on the right-hand side, it's going to be a left-handed shot. Same thing, this top foot is going to get parallel to the baseline. It just makes it so much easier to get yourself in a position to put the shot up. So here's Tim again. Like I said, he's left-handed. One more time, Tim. The again, the defender is below you. And again, don't worry if you're not as tall as Tim. You still gotta be able to make that move. The footwork's the most important thing. Getting the ball to go in the hole will come. We'll pause the video so you can try five or ten of those yourself. Next, let's look at a terrific move up and under. We're gonna work on an out dribble right now. Tim's gonna turn on his top foot. That's a good foot. Come around, here's a defender who goes with him. You have to imagine him. We have to social distance now so I can't show it to you. But imagine that a better game and it's right here on top of him. No worries, especially if you see an arm thing. Tim's going to step right through to that right foot. Yep. And he's going to jump. He's going to be off balance. But he's going to jump and just the end of the floor. We might have to start a little closer in this time. That's up now. We're going really slowly again. Watch. So left foot is a pivot foot. Do not pick it up. Top foot is a pivot foot. Now on the right, step through, jump. He'll be a little off balance. And you can jump off both the end of the floor. And again, you're really excited. If you see the arm thing, the better the arm thing. That defender's not equal to you. They are saying, I want to foul you. Don't get fouled. You are unguardable on the free throw line. Show us again, Tim. Up, under. And notice Tim's not picking that ball very far down. He doesn't want to get a hell ball from a hell defender. All right. Now, up and under on the right hand side. I like to think of it as your top foot. So Tim's top foot is going to stay on the ground. Watch, it comes around, and then he's going to step through. He'll be a little off balance, but you just adjust in the air. Jump and adjust in the air. So Tim's going to go a little quicker this time. Turns on that top foot, up, under. Again, Tim's going up with two hands. He is left-handed. He's using his right hand on the side that's opposite his favorite hand. You need to work on both hands. That will make you unstoppable on the side. So that's up and under on the right hand side without a dribble. Go ahead and try that five to ten times yourself. Now we'll use up and under and use a bit of a dribble with it because Tim's a little further away from the basket. But he's still going to have a defender go with him. He wants to get in the air and he's going to blow by him or her and go score. So he'll use a dribble with this now. Up, under, and score. Watch how high up Tim can come up and even higher up in this post and use this move. Come up even higher, Tim. I bet you can get there. Up, under, and score. So we can use that move with a dribble too. Try that five to ten times yourself. Now we're going under with a dribble on the left hand side. So it's going to keep the turn. Out and up. Just drill and go score. Notice he drilled that time, he jumps out, that's the equal to. And again, if you come higher up, you can use it out and come up here. Up, 
The defender stays back, so he's going to take a shot. It's okay. The footwork is the most important thing. The shots will come. Footwork is super important. So try that five to ten times yourself. Now Tim's going to reverse pivot, and he's going to imagine the defender follow him out. So he's going to go blow right past that defender and go score. Tim, take a shot. You just missed a couple before this. Go ahead, just take a shot. Really important. Your coaches may not always like you doing this in the middle of the drill, but you can do this on your own at home. If you're having trouble making shots outside, and I know a lot of you spend all spring just jacking up three point shots all spring long, but if you're missing shots on the outside, one of the best things you can do, besides getting mad, which is not a good thing to do, is shot fake, take that ball in the hole, and go score. Watch that ball go through the rim. And it's amazing what that can do to your mind. Just seeing a layup go through, or in a game, get yourself fouled, you go to the free throw line, you are unguardable at the free throw line. But hey, if it just is working on driving, you're going to work on it too. Take five, ten attempts yourself. 